It's a bruiser and it's up next. This is one of those cars that sets your imagination on fire. A long, raven black 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 that glistens like a prize fighter in the ring with a heart that's just as big. Ford was good at building big and comfy family cars, but they also did a heck of a job stripping them down and turning them into race versions, like our R-Code version with its 425 horsepower, 427 cubic inch power plant. These cars were insanely popular. Ford sold over 920,000 full-size Galaxies in 64, but less than 3,000 had one of these. By the sound of it, you'd think that the 427 in our Black Galaxy was built by a racing engine shop and not as a regular option assembly line piece. These R-Code FE series engines were built with very stringent tolerances using high performance parts with the sole intention of being first to the finish line. A steel crank swings specially prepped connecting rods with oversized bolts and the 11.6 to 1 compression pistons had reliefs cut into them to help keep the valves out of the way at high RPM. High flow cylinder heads are fed by a medium rise dual quad intake manifold and a high lift, long duration solid lifter cam works the valves. The spark is lit by a high performance ignition system and the exhaust dumps out of a pair of cast iron manifolds that are actually shaped more like racing headers than typical manifolds. Ford forbade power robbing accessories like air conditioning and power steering on these cars, so the driver built some muscle trying to wheel this car around with all of its manual inconveniences. A sticky clutch kept the four speed on board with the program when the light turned green, and a strong nine inch rear with a locking differential took the punishment at the back of the car. The Galaxy rear suspension design used leaf springs, so traction was a challenge, especially when cranking out 480 pound-feet of torque. The 427 cars had unique stamped steel wheels made by Kelsey Hayes that were fully welded all the way around, and they measured 15 by 5 and a half inches wide, and giant 11 by 3 inch cop car drum brakes were used up front. These cars rode on specific springs and had an upsized front sway bar but it didn't exactly help it excel at carving corners. In 1964, Ford ran ads for the new Galaxies that challenged drivers to change the roadmaps, suggesting these new cars were bigger, faster, smoother, and powerful enough to move the earth. We know the true intention of these 427 cars was to go fast, but the Ford advertising team sought to justify these powerful cars to the general public by using creative ads, one of which said the torquey Ford engine climbed hills like a homesick Swiss yodeler. Like that's the reason you bought one of these to climb hills. Well, maybe if you're gonna race up Pikes Peak. Sliding behind the wheel of this monster is an experience not soon forgotten. A big, flat bench seat makes fast turns more exciting, and the giant 17-inch steering wheel helps to operate the manual steering gear and also provides a big window to see the dash. Two round pods flank the sweep-style speedometer housing with fuel and temp indicators, but there isn't much in the order of gauges from the factory, so an oil pressure and temp gauge were added to the lower dash on this car. A cool period correct Ford Rotunda tachometer is screwed to the speaker grill on top of the dash, and this one has an AM radio and a heater, but that's it for accessories. Besides, all the fun happens when you mash your right foot and row the four speed through a blaze of tire smoke. Some people like the smaller, sportier muscle cars. Other people like big street brawlers like this one. What's your preference? You can share your thoughts on our Facebook page or YouTube comments. And stay tuned, we'll have another cool car from the Brothers Collection next time on Muscle Car of the Week.